Bill Bender here. It's kind of odd. We're doing a video that doesn't involve me being on the golf course or reviewing whiskey. Uh, I talked about it before and we're finally getting it done today. This is the video of how I maintain my mane, my beard. Now, there's steps, there's products, uh, everybody's different. This isn't the, the exact way to do it, you do this or, or it doesn't work. This is simply the way I do it, the way I've learned how to do it, and me breaking it down in its simplest form. Uh, so it's not annoying because when you do this every day, it, it gets really annoying. Uh, so products, shampoo, conditioner, beard oil, uh, a mustache wax, the brush, the type of brush you use, and then a trimmer. Those are basically all you need. So step one, now this is all personal preference on how often you wash your beard. Uh, obviously the first step is going to be getting in the shower and washing your beard. Now there's many different products. Uh, there's fancy beard stuff. Um, there's regular hair stuff, but mane and tail, this is the stuff that I use. It's cheap, it's awesome. I used to use it for my hair when I had hair, but I don't anymore, so I use it for my beard. Um, it's great. This stuff is my number one go-to for shampooing and conditioning. It's all personal preference. <clears throat> How often you wash your beard? I tend to do mine uh, twice a week, uh, depending on what I do. If I'm not active, then it'll be twice a week. If I'm hot, sweaty, and dirty, and, and outside, then I'll wash my beard every day. I don't care, it doesn't matter. So, that's step one. Step two, a proper drying. So, what you're gonna do for step two is you're gonna take the towel, um, you're going to press hard, and kind of dampen it. Wring all the water out. Nice and dry. Now the biggest misconception on the third step is the application of oil. Now, this is the oil that I'm currently using right now. I go through so much oil, it's ridiculous. Like bottles and bottles and bottles of this stuff. I'm using Valhalla right now. Uh, this is a cognac and Cubans scent, which is actually pretty good. People have their own preference on what they smell like and, and that's fine. Everybody's different. Now. I see a lot of people take the dropper, the application dropper, and they'll put it directly on their hand. And after they put it on their hand, they have oil on their hands and they go this way. Now, that's all fine and dandy, but then you have this like oily beard on the outside. And even though it looks good, shining, soul glow style, it's not really doing the job. What you're supposed to be doing is taking this applicator and pushing it directly in through the beard onto the skin and applying randomly, drop, 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 directly on the skin. I do two, three here, two on the chin, two, three here, and then one, two, three underneath. Then what you do is you grab your fingers and you go inside the beard and you rub the oil on your skin, on the skin, not on the outside. You rub the oil on your skin. It's essential that your skin gets most of the oil because it's your skin. Now the remaining oil that you have on your fingertips from massaging into the skin, you put on your hand and you gently just work the outside. So minimal on the outside, most of it on the skin underneath and make sure you get the tips. Make sure you get the tips. You gotta work the tips. Okay, now after that's done, you have your brush. Now everybody thinks that the thick bristle brush is is the answer it's not i'm telling you it, this is a paddle brush it's called it's got the the spikes the spike guys on it so what this does is it allows you to go all the way into the skin and what you're going to do is after you get your oil in there and, and everything's worked out what i do is i go forward brush brush forward brush forward then brush up maybe a little backwards you got to you gotta train the hair to go in different directions, otherwise it's just gonna lay in the same spot. Now I have 
curly hair. My beard is really curly and my hair is long. Other beards are really tight and curly, mine's not. It's long and it's wavy and sometimes it works and it looks great and I don't have to do that much, but sometimes it's terrible. So we go forward, we go backwards, we go down and then the last thing we do is we go up. Once we go up, what we're gonna do is just flick this down a little bit and get this, this huge bow and then it's a straight brush straight down. Now, this isn't the end, but what it would be easy. Now you have the general shape and then you're just gonna, you know, prim and whatever with your, with your fingers, you know, puff stuff out and then you have the general shape. And once you're happy with what it looks like, you have the flyways. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the razor. Now, I don't trust anybody with my beard. I don't go to barbers, I do everything myself. So you're gonna take this, your general shaver, you're gonna turn it on and you're gonna lightly go down and you're just gonna rip it all off. You're gonna, you're gonna take all those flies, flyways off. Boom, 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 boom. And then what I do for the underneath part, which is tricky, and this helps me gauge this right here. Now you see this, this is a little bit long. It doesn't go, it doesn't flow. It just goes wah, wah, and I don't like that. So I tilt my head back and then I take this and I go this way. I take the, the, shade, the razor and I go this way. And I trim and I trim and I get the shape. So I shape this way straight down and then I shape this way. Now, when it, when this is longer, the higher you look up, the more it's gonna point. So then you could just keep on straight back. Now, once that's all said and done, you have your shape, you have uh, everything where it's supposed to be, the mustache. Now, everybody's mustache is different. Some people like the part in the middle and like that. Some people keep that stuff real short. Um, it's funny because the longer mine gets, the, the, the better I think it looks. The last step is the mustache. Now everybody's mustache is different. People have personal preferences. I like to keep mine right around here. I don't get too handlebar-y, that's a word. Uh, some people like it really short. I like mine right about here. Um, the mustache wax is really important for that. Now, I'm using this Beard Mountain mustache wax. Now these guys sent me this, oh God knows, a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And look, it's still not done yet. This is probably one of the best mustache wax products I've ever used, probably the best one. Uh, these guys do great things. And what you're gonna do is just one, two, one, two. Again, it's all personal preference. So you want really waxy and sharp lines and curves, then you know apply more. If you just want a general shape, then one, two, and you're done. Um, and that's it. And then go out and kill it. I have a secret move at the end of the beard uh, maintenance, and that is have two or three drops of the Bill Bender Full Send. Put it in your palm, give it a nice little coat. That's the added bonus. That's the Bill Bender way to maintain your mane. So let's do it.